Hello, I'm Jim Bitterman, and greetings from Paris, France. In my many years here as CNN's senior European correspondent, I've participated in innumerable events all across the continent and elsewhere. Among them, the mu medical musical group concerts I've hosted continue to bring back very fond and warm memories. These included three concerts in Europe and one back home in the USA. The European concerts included MMG's concert for UNESCO at UNESCO headquarters here in Paris, the concert for the United Nations at the UN's European headquarters in Geneva, and their grand concert at London's Central Home commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Allied victory at the end of World War II. All three concerts were parts of MMG's Healing for the Nations concert series, which incredibly took the group to over 30 countries. The fourth MMG concert I hosted was at home at the Strathmore Concert Hall in Bethesda, Maryland. It was the 2013 holiday concert, and my colleague, the late Cokie Roberts, was my co-host. That star-studded performance featured Ricky Skaggs, Maureen McGovern, and the gifted doctor musician, NIH chief, Dr. Francis Collins. All these were the fabulous, multi-talented medical musical group members. You know, MMG epitomizes the wonderful marriage between medicine and music. Healthcare professionals temporarily swap their lab coats and stethoscopes for violins, flutes, and trombones as they perform music that will delight us all. And friends also participate. They travel in from four corners of the United States plus Canada, and in the case of Sir Robert Worcester, across the Atlantic from London, England. They practiced together in Washington, D.C. for only four nights, and lo and behold, they came up with this fabulous concert. Quite admirably, MMG dedicates its concerts to the American veterans. MMG's award-winning veterans hymn will tug at your heartstrings, in particular, their vacant chair dramatization, honoring Gold Star parents and their spouses.